Hello everyone um, and welcome once again to our Special Collection Spotlight Sessions. The session for this month is looking at treasures of the library of the British Sundial Society. So the British Sundial Society, um, by arrangement with Bromley House, store their library here in the building. Um, and we have an agreement that members of Bromley House can look at the um, books in the library, can use them. They're not available to be borrowed, but if you wanted to look at any of them within the library, then they're available for all our members to look at. And today I thought I'd show just a few of the books from, the, from that collection to give you a bit of an idea of some of the range of things that are within the collection and um, some, of the, some of the interesting and beautiful stuff that can be found within, within that um, collection of books. So the first book that I've got out to show you, I thought I'd start with something um, does exactly what it says on the tin, something relatively good to start with. This is the Book of Sundials, um, as you can see, collected by Mrs. Alfred Gatty. Um, and it's a rather lovely book. It's a reasonably large size and it's got obviously a sundial on the front. Um, this rather nice plate in the front here. And the book itself, basically, um, it includes um, mottos from sundials. Um, so these are, um, many sundials have um, mottos carved onto them, um, often relating to time and the transience of nature and so on. Um, and in this book, most, many, many of these uh, mottos are collected and rather handily for someone like me who doesn't speak Latin, are then um, translated so that um, we can see the Although I'm not sure whether that is Latin. Anyway, translated um, as well, and then um, given an account of where these can be found. So um, the inscriptions are there, the translation is there, and a note of which um, location the sundials were when uh, Mrs. Gatti found them is in there. And at the back of the book as well, there are some really rather lovely um, drawings that Mrs. Gatti has done of the sundials. And so the book includes all sorts of sundials, uh, freestanding sundials, sundials um, of the type that you might find on church fronts, um, so on a plate up on the wall, um, and even portable sundials like this little ring dial, which you can see here, um, which is the sort of thing that people could carry around in their pocket and using various calculations, depending on where exactly they were, could work out what the time was um, as the sun shone through a little hole in the ring dial. So... Um, Mrs. Alfred Gatty um, was a very um, interesting and quite well-known person. Um, she was born Margaret Scott in 1809, um, and her father, incidentally, was a chaplain to Lord Nelson. So she had an um, interesting family history as well. And she's mostly remembered as a children's author, um, but she was also a, um, a serious scientist. She was a mean marine biologist, um, as well as being an editor and an artist, and had this interest in sundials. So as it says in the um, title page, these sundials were collected by Mrs Gatty. So what she tended to do was, as she travelled around, wherever she went, if she spotted a sundial, she would make notes of it, and often, as you can see, do illustrations. And these were published in this book in 1872. Um, which was just the year before she died. She died in 1873. Now, this book was very popular, um, and it's interesting in the history of the study of sundials because it was one of the first kind of books produced for a popular audience. Um, so rather than looking at the scientific and astronomical aspects of sundials, this looks at their design, their history, the aesthetics of sundials. And um, it was, as I say, when it was released, it was very popular. Um, it ran to at least four editions. Um, there are four copies of this of various different editions in the um, library of the British Sundial Society. Later editions were expanded from the original one, um, mostly expanded by Mrs Gatti's daughter, Horatia Catherine Francis Gatti. Um, and, um, and yes, so, so there are, um, this, this book you know, um, was, um, uh, was a popular and um, interesting book. Um, what makes another interesting thing in this particular copy that I wanted to show you was in the front, front um, at the uh, end of the preface, there's a little snippet from a newspaper from The Standard from March 1888. And what this is, this is um, a letter to the editor in response to an article which had appeared in the newspaper. And the, um, this, the interest in here is that um, the person who's written this letter uses this book, the Book of Sundials, as a reference um, to quote and quotes it to show um, the prevalence of a particular inscription on a sundial. 
So this is um, the first book that I wanted to wanted to get out. <laughs>